Hello everyone and welcome to my Autodesk Revit tutorial. In today's Autodesk Revit tutorial, I will show you how to create a waffle slab just by using the beam system tool over here. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'll proceed to level 2 over here. And I'll draw in a slab. So I'll just choose this one right here that I've created over here. And I'll just draw in the slab like so. And after I've adjusted the slab size, I'll just click on the finish edit mode button over here. And in the structure tab, proceed to the beam system tool over here. And you can either choose the automatic or sketch beam system over here. I'll choose the sketch beam system. And I'll use the pick lines tool to select all the sides of the slab. And I'll leave the beam direction as is over here. And I'll click on finish edit mode over here. So you can see that based on the beam direction over here, it will draw out the beams from left to right. So one thing to note is that if you put it on the left or the right, it will draw from left to right or right to left. If you put it at the top, it will draw the beams from the top to the bottom over here. So let's draw in the beams going downward over here. So click on the beam system button again and click on sketch system over here. I choose the rectangle tool over here and draw it in. And now the beam direction is at the top over here. And to change the beam direction, you can just click on the button over here. And select any of the four sides over here to adjust the beam direction that you want. So click on finish edit mode over here. Proceed to the 3D view. So this is the waffle slab that we have over here. If you would like to change the spacing of the beams, all you need to do is hover around over here, for example, and select the outline over here of the beam system and you can play around with the spacing here for example let's say you want a spacing of one meter over here so key in 1000 millimeters here so let's go through some of the common options that we can see for our beam system so to select our beam system just hover over your slab and select the outline over here and you can actually change the layout rule from fixed distance, for example, to let's say fixed number. So you can fix the number of beams that you want in this entire slab. Or you could choose maximum spacing. You can key in any value that you like over here. Or you could choose clear spacing over here. So essentially, clear spacing is the distance between the face of one beam to the next so it's 152 millimeters over here and if i were to select the beam system you can see the clear spacing is 152 over here so those are the four common layout rules for beam systems but for this video i will just use the fixed distance and fixed spacing setting over here and if you're having trouble selecting the other beam system just hover over the one that you can select and press tab once so you can select this other beam system over here and key in any value that you want. For example, 1000 millimeters or more than 1000 millimeters, let's say 5000. And a neat feature of the beam system is that each of the beams that you have over here will have a tag over here. So you don't have to manually name them. And one thing that I forgot to cover is that under the beam system, you can actually change the section that you're using just by clicking on the beam type drop down over here. So you can change it to a 400 by 800 concrete beam, for example. And that's about all the settings that you can alter in the beam system. 
And that's it for today's Autodesk Revit tutorial. If you found it useful, like this tutorial, share this tutorial, and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and goodbye.